don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to be creating this beautiful tropical parrot here. This is the first one in my tropical 3D nail art series. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this series. I'm going to have five different things created for you. This is the 4D gel that I will be using and I got it on AliExpress and I will try to include a link for you in the description box below so you can check that out. And then once the parrot is created, I will be painting it with Madame Glam's jelly polishes. These are from their metallic collection, but they're jellies. And I'm not showing you all the colors that I'm using, but there are some of them. Okay, the first thing that I need to do is I need to remove the shine from the nail where I'm going to put the parrot. I mean, you don't have to remove the, all of the shine, just where the parrot's gonna be. This will help the 4D gel adhere to the nail better. All right, so I just take a ball of the 4D gel that I rolled and I just set it on the nail. And now I'm going to be using isopropyl alcohol in a small dappen dish. And I'm just going to create the parrot's body. And I'll probably speed up the video in parts so that you don't have to watch it all because sometimes that can be kind of boring and it takes a while. So yeah, so let's get going. When I work with the 4D gel, I don't always use a brush. I use rubber tools and I use spatulas. So don't be stuck on just using a brush. This is a spatula and the end of it is bent. And that's what I use to cut open the beak with here. And then I come back in with my brush and, you know, smooth it out, come back in with my tool, cut it out, you know. So when you think of 4D gel, you really have to think of it. It's like a clay, you know, you're, you are being a sculptor. So, and here I am using this spatula tool again. Look how I stretch the 4D gel down. I stretch it down to create his body and his tail feathers. And then I come back in and smooth that out. Just getting the body just the way I want it. And again, the other end of the spatula tool, I do a cut so I can separate the tail feathers and then come back in with a brush to smooth out that cut so it doesn't look so stark. So it looks more like an indentation. And even rubber tools here, just to smooth it, open it more. Just experiment with the tools that you wanna use. I find that using a brush for creating 3D art with the 4D gels and 3D gels, it isn't always the best thing to just use a brush, you know? So here I am just creating a little definition there between his beak and his head, like an indentation. And then I smooth it with the brush. And when I get the body just the way I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for one minute. Here I'm making his claws and I used a little ball of the 4D gel, but I had too much. So I just took my spatula tool and cut it off. And now I'm cutting out his little toes using my brush to smooth them and separate them. And when I get the toes just the way I want them, I will cure it for one minute. Now I'm going to work on the wing and I have a little piece of the 4D gel and I rolled it to look like a little piece of rice. Now I just set it down on the body and because I pressed it down, I have a little indentation in the wing that I need to work out. And I'll just use my brush and smooth that out. And here I have too much 4D gel on there, so I just use my tool and I just cut off what I don't need. That's the beauty of it, you know? You just take off what you don't need. And now I'm back with my spatula tool, just shaping out the wing. I'd like to give you some tips on using the isopropyl alcohol as a slip to maneuver this 4D gel. So you don't wanna have your brush too wet and saturated with 
a lot of that alcohol because if you do, you're gonna kind of break down the 4D gel and make it turn into mush. So I always have like a paper towel there and I have my isopropyl alcohol and I dip my brush into it and I dab my brush off, okay? I use uh, minimal isopropyl alcohol. You know, I, I'm working with a dry brush really just so the 4D gel won't stick. And I even dip my tools into the isopropyl alcohol too so they don't stick. It's kind of like poly gel in a way, the same concept there. You don't want your brush to stick to the poly gel. So you dip it in either a slip or isopropyl alcohol to stop that stickiness, you know. Now I'm working with my rubber tool and I'm using it to create indentations in the wing here. And then I will switch over to my brush to smooth them out. And then when I get the wing just the way I want it, I will go ahead and cure that for one minute. I'm going to paint the parrot now using the jelly polishes, but I wanted to show you a trick. If you think your jelly polish is a little bit too pigmented, you can lighten it up using just some top coat, okay? Just take a little bit of the top coat like that and just add it to your droplet of your jelly polish until you get it to look a little bit lighter. With this type of 3D nail art, and I have done it in white, there's a purpose for that. I want to be able to still see the white through the jelly polish, okay? So it looks sort of like a pottery, like a glaze. When people make pottery, they use like a transparent glaze that's colored. So that's the look I'm going for here. I'm not going for just covering up this uh the whole parrot you know and i want the white of the 4d gel to be able to be seen and you can see it here it kind of starts to uh, separate and settle and you can see parts of the white showing through that's the purpose here now i'll flash cure this and go on to the beak and here's the beak and of course i will color this in and flash cure it and then go on to the body. And here I am at the body, and I am not gonna cure this right away because I'm going to be blending different colors. So here I have a beautiful pink, and you're gonna watch me blend some colors before I cure it. And while the pink is still wet, I just set a little red crystal down for his eye. And I'll just leave it there until I'm done blending the rest of my colors. Here I am blending just a little bit of yellow into that dark orange. And now I'm using a darker grassy green for his tail feathers. And if you've watched everything, you can see how the colors are kind of settling around his wing. And in the tail feathers, you can see where it's darker, where the crease is. That's what I'm going for. Now I will cure for 30 seconds. And now I'm going to top coat and I'm starting out by top coating just the parrot. And I start by his eye so that I can seal that crystal in. I'm using a no wipe top coat and I will cure that for one minute. And now I'm just going to top coat the rest of the nail and just being careful around that cuticle area here. I just want to get all the top coat right around the parrot just to be able to seal it in and help it to stay on better. And here you can see I'm using my liner brush close to the cuticle area and right around the parrot. And now I'll cure this for one minute. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for being here. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and be on the lookout for the next video coming up in the Tropical 3D Nail Art Series, which is going to be a tropical leaf. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.